<clears throat> Hi guys, Dennis here from Denny Bob's RC. Hey, uh, got the Lasso 850K um, dozer here. I finally got my receiver in today and uh, I got everything set up and running. Um, took me a little bit of, to get the sound system figured out and whatnot, but um, with a few messages to Oliver at Toucan Hobby and presto. Um, he sent me a video on some stuff on how to set stuff up. They're very helpful. Um, and uh, we got it. What I want to call pretty much done. Um, I'm going to just kind of go through some of the functions of it. Um, turn the radio on. Make sure all the levers. Okay. All right. All right. I'm just running it with a little 2200 milliamp. I have some 4500 milliamp 3S LiPo batteries coming. So then that. And that's got little detent balls that snap into place. Now, uh, the sound system, I did do some running with the sound system. Um, you guys will have to be the judge. The unfortunate thing is, is the speaker is a very small speaker. And it's not very loud. So, But I do have a horn. And then we have the start. And I have the blade mix for the hydraulic. So the pump's not running all the time. Nothing I hate worse than hearing a pump running all the time during a video. Um, and I have that set up on my channel on my right stick. Now, I did do the tracks and I have them all mixed. But the, the sound system is not very, what I want to call, very loud. Now, I'm going to shut the sound system off so I can kind of talk, I don't have to talk over it. There's the horn again. Now, click the switch up. There. I need to get everything labeled on the radio. Um, I have the strobe set on the SWA switch. So basically... You can click your way through the different strobes. Seems like several different variations of the strobe. And then you can get the peel off. Now, I got the lights on the SWD switch. And you have two lights in the back and four lights up front. And then I have the winch on the VRB dial. Now, one thing I will say is I think they use kind of a weak um, ESC for the uh, for this. Now, it, yeah, it will pull, but I had, was doing it earlier. I had a five-pound weight uh, dead weight, and I was pulling it. So, I mean. Um, is it going to pull itself out of a bad spot or whatever? Yeah, it's it's a functional winch, but I'm keeping pressure on it to keep this kind of cable up nice and tight and uh, nicely coiled up. And let's see. But uh, yeah, I, horn. And it's a new Lasso sound system. Yeah, I really don't know much about the Lasso sound systems. Um, I would think they could have put a bigger speaker 
like up in the grill or something because it is the speaker for this is push the little button to get the cab up it's a tiny little speaker right here maybe I can get a better one or something yeah. um, but otherwise That's about the only thing I'm dissatisfied with it at the present time. Um, that I, I think it should be a little bit louder. And I mean, I've got the volume cranked all the way up. And that's the best you can get. Um, but, pretty simple blade function up and down. did take and put a little dry brooder driver in the cab. And I'm going to try and get out and uh and it was pretty fairly easy to set up. I mean, I bought this less radio and receiver, no battery. Um I do have some 4500 I may have already said it's 4500 milliamp batteries cuz you have a certain size battery that you can fit in there. A 4,500 milliamp battery without the hydraulic pump running all the time, you're going to get some nice run time, I think, and should be adequate. Um, but overall, um, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, we're going to probably try and get it out this afternoon and do a little uh, do a little dirt pushing and see see how well it does. I did throw it on the scale without the battery. It does have, um, it does weigh in at 29.4 pounds. So it's almost a 30 pounder. So it's half the weight of my DXR2, but uh, it's also a third of the size. So um, I think the weight wise to the size of the blade, I think I'm going to have plenty of power and plenty of weight to do any dirt pushing that I can put in front of that blade. So, but. Uh, that's kind of my, I'm going to grab the, grab the phone here and I'm going to kind of pan around it and uh, kind of show you some of the features. Um, it really does have a pretty cool, um, first time I've ever had something like this. In just a second. Okay, we kind of go around. It does, both the doors do open. And then it does have a little electronic display in there telling me that the battery that's in it right now has 12.3 volts, which is pretty cool. First time I've ever had anything with a display. Um, pretty nice details. Comes with a little brass hitch pin. And, uh, of course, the other door opens as well. And then they have magnetic closures on them that keep them shut. But... Uh, yeah, pretty nice. Um, let's see if I can... I don't know. Here, just a second. Alright, got the cab open. And where you add your hydraulic oil to it, is there's a little screw right there. And there's a reservoir down below. That's where that is. And this is where the pressure is set for the relief for the hydraulics. Um, nice big battery bay underneath there. And the cab does set up quite a ways higher, so it should be plenty of room to get my 4,500 milliamp battery in there. So, but uh, overall, pretty happy. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we'll have to get it out in the dirt and play and, and see how well it really does push. Um, that will come with time. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have time to do it this afternoon, but hopefully. Uh, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, so I'm probably going to have to do it this afternoon. So, Anyway, you guys have to let me know what you think. I know Lasso isn't for everybody. Um, you know, they have had their ups and downs and oil leaks and whatnot. Um, I've heard all kinds of nightmares from different people. The unfortunate thing with so much of this stuff, um, we only hear the negative. Uh, we never seem to hear the success stories. You know, everybody is always willing to bitch and complain, but, uh, you know, um, not many people want to get out there and, you know, 
share the success stories and how happy they are with it. So that's unfortunately with this hobby, we seem to always hear the negative. We never hear the positive. So we'll see how it goes and uh, wish me luck. Catch you guys later.